I really want to thank all of you for not being so offended that I mispronounced your name and for uh, cutting you off. You should know it's a very difficult thing for me to do. Um, I too was just very inspired by all of the energy and I know that um, no one is more vested than every single one of you that came out tonight and all of those that couldn't come out tonight um, to ensure that the Westwood community moves forward, gets better, uh, and achieves all the goals you wish it to. I think somebody stated earlier that um, there's room for everyone. There's a need for homeowner associations. There's a need for community councils. And I told Commissioner Abrams to turn that off because I, <laughs> I knew he was going to steal my thunder. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> um, and I, and I really believe that that's true. Um, I think a few of you know that um, almost 10 years ago, I joined the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment um, as a staff person. And I was actually a part of the department before there were any neighborhood councils across the city. And um, although this was contentious and there's a lot of uh, negative energy and obviously uh, bad experiences that you have all had, I think I've seen worse in several other occasions. Um, so that does actually give me some hope. But what I, I would like to share is that when a neighborhood council is certified, and if we choose to certify tonight, um, I think what everybody counts on is an equal opportunity to participate. And I always share uh, that, you know, an opportunity isn't there if you don't know about it. And it's not there if somebody denies you a seat at the table. And so I too, like Commissioner uh, Kim and Commissioner Gatika, have serious concerns about the selection process. Um, I would support certification with the amendment from the applicant to ensure that the city clerk either holds your election for you so it can be open, transparent, and everybody that's here that spent six hours with us this evening has a seat at the table. If the city clerk uh, continues to deny that request, then that we ask them to approve an independent election administrator to conduct the election for you um, in the case that that doesn't occur, that we establish a selection process that will ensure diverse representation. And what I mean by diverse representation is that it will ensure an equal seat at the table for uh, representatives that were opposed to the certification as well as those that came here in support of the application. Um, I would also support, and I heard the applicant state, that they would modify their removal clause uh, to delete that p line that I think just makes it too simple to remove anybody um, and ensure that the two-thirds piece is put in there because I think nobody should be removed. Uh, the neighborhood council should not be a popularity contest. It should be about ensuring that everybody's voice is heard and that everybody has an equal opportunity to share that voice even when we disagree with them. And I think that's what's made me passionate about neighborhood councils is that even when I disagree with folks, I much more appreciate hearing them tell me why they disagree and educate me on their position than having never heard it or having them tell somebody else uh, behind my back. So um, with those you know, uh, caveats, uh, I would certainly support certification this evening for the Westwood Neighborhood Council. Sorry, President Siskiotis, can you repeat again uh, the recommendation around the selection process? So uh, my recommendation uh, would be that uh, we certify, and maybe I'll just make it into a motion if it's appropriate at this time. So I will uh, move that we certify the Westwood Neighborhood Council with the understanding that the applicant has agreed to modify their bylaws uh, to, in the, in the uh, removal section under section E, vacancy number two, they will delete number B that says serious and repeated failure to perform the duties of a board of director. And they will clarify that uh, F, any two board members may make a motion to the board for a director's removal. It must be seconded by a third member and approved by two thirds of the board. Um, and with the understanding that they will also um, <coughs> amend their election selection process 
um, so that it reads as follows, that they will request the city clerk to conduct their election in 2010 um, as scheduled with the other 89 neighborhood councils. If the city clerk is unable or unwilling to conduct the election, that they request that the city clerk approve an independent election administrator with the support of the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment to conduct an initial election for the Westwood Neighborhood Council. Barring that, um, that they, um, the third alternative would be that a selection process ensure diverse representation from all stakeholders, not just three uh, listed on the application, and that they include an equal number of members that are opposed to the application. And I think the city attorney wants to say something. One hundred percent agreed. What I what I want to just kind of remind you is the difficulty is as the applicants go forward. These are the bylaws that they're working with, and one of the concerns that you mentioned was more so about their selection process. So I wanted to make sure that both, you know, my office, the applicants. Uh, we understand exactly what is being amended with respect to the selection process. The first part of your statement, I, I got that, about the city, you know, requesting the city clerk to conduct it. Second, if the city clerk is unable to conduct it, see if they can uh, have an independent administrator conduct it on their behalf. Or third, you said then establish a diverse kind of selection process. And we need to nail that down in terms of these bylaws with respect to what exactly that means or what's expected from the group. Or the alternative is if we want to let the, see if the group would consent to some short continuance to come back with a proposal about that, um, how that process would work. So there's, there's two options that you kind of have at this point in time. But just simply saying, I think, to ensure a diverse selection process is really not okay. providing sufficient guidance. Okay. Um, so if I can modify that, and then the commissioners, I mean, please offer any suggestions. I think as I understand your selection process, you currently have three of your contact um, that be form the selection committee, and it's at random. That's what I heard you state. So my specific recommendation would be that two members um, at random from the uh, folks that have declared their opposition to your neighborhood council be selected, and two folks at random from your applicant group or formation committee be selected. So you would have four instead of three uh, selection committee members that would then have the charge of selecting a, com you know, a board of directors, barring that the city clerk doesn't give you authority to have an open election. Yeah. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. I mean, if we can objectively say that, but that makes sense. Okay. So, Commissioner Kim. Um, okay. I think we're we're looking for an odd number. I know that there's um, there's comments, so maybe we can ask the applicant in a second. Um, but commissioners, do you have um, other suggestions? So, 